everybody, Lori here for Alta News. So glad you're joining me today. I've got a bright and cheery little number to share with you. I'm going to be starting with this watercolor stripes stencil by Alta New. I'm going to do some ink blending with these gorgeous Alta New inks. And I'm starting with some mountain mist. I'm going for a gradient blue watercolor stripe background. I've been kind of craving a change from the red and greens that I've been working with for the past couple months, which I love working on holiday projects, but sometimes it's nice to just switch it up. You know what I mean? I'm the same way with food. Um, I got to switch it up all the time. Even with the style of products that I work, that's why I like working with a lot of different teams and because um, I like working with a lot of different styles. Sometimes I like elegant. Sometimes I like cutesy. I like geometric, you know? all of it. I love all of it. Anyway, so starting with Mountain Mist, and then I'm going to work my way darker to the left. So now I'm going in with Volcano Lake, and each time I take a different ink blender. I have about 10 ink blender tools, and I don't switch out the sponges um, for different um, brands. So now I'm working with Alta New, but it doesn't matter to me whether I work with Alta New, Distress Ink, Simon Inks, Mama Elephant, even I mix and match pigment, dye. It all works, even distress oxides. You don't have to switch out your sponge. I'm not a perfectionist. I know some people like to have the exact sponge for the exact ink, but I have too many inks. So I just grab a sponge that looks close enough. It's kind of like painting. You just grab a brush and you just go with it. Works for me. And this watercolor stripe stencil is very forgiving doesn't show a lot of imperfections or splotches that you might get if you're not being really careful with the pressure of your hand or how much ink you have on your sponge. But I will say the more your sponges are used and inked up and full of color, the better results you're going to get. That's what I say anyway. And I'm that's my story and I'm sticking to it. So now I remove the stencils, the best part and there you have it. I'll trim that down. I'm going to move on to the bloom. I've got this fantasy floral 3D die set. This is so cool. I'm going to use three shades of pink for my bloom. There's three dyes for the bloom, like an outline, more detail, and then even more detail. So you can layer it up. It's just like the multi-step stamping stamp sets. You know how you can layer up the bloom and you get the dimension and the detail, but this is with a die. And so I'm using colored cardstock to add my shades. But if you wanted, you could do other things. I've seen people do this all with white cardstock and then they'll do ink blending or even watercolor. Now I'm gonna die cut the sentiment. So this is from the flower arrangement die set. Love, love, love this scripty font on this hello. So I'm gonna die cut about four of these out of white cardstock and using spray adhesive going to adhere these all together to make it a thick dimensional word die cut. Do this all the time. I used to use liquid adhesive back in the day, but this hello is pretty intricate. And so I find that the spray adhesive gives me good results. There's no oozy goozy adhesive oozing out the sides. You know what I'm saying? And it gives you a little play time that you can move it around and line it up before it's permanently stuck together. So now what I wanted to do was add just a smidge, just a pinch of gradient ink blending to my bloom. So I took Pinkalicious ink and just a little bit on the bottom edge of the bloom pieces. I always say that gradient is the secret ingredient. My kids laugh, but whenever they're working on their art projects for school or posters that they got a color and they're always asking me, mom, how can I make this better? And I always say, add a little bit of gradient because it makes everything better. It's a secret ingredient. And especially since my watercolor stripe background has that gradient feel to it, wanted to add a touch of gradient to the bloom. Now I'm basically just gonna start assembling everything together, popping up the background onto a white card base, popped up my bloom, and now I'm gonna adhere the, the leaves, tucking them in behind the bloom here and there, just using glossy accents for that. Just kind of tucking them in here and there where they fit. And I laid that hello word sentiment. I haven't adhered that down, but I just want to kind of see the placement. And I've got some lighter, some darker leaves, kind of doubling them up. I put a little bit of foam tape on the back of my hello. 
and pop that up to finish it off a few sparkling clear sequins. It's bright, it's cheery, it's perfect to send a happy hello to someone. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful day and I will see you next time.